describe your experience during the COVID-19 epidemic of 2020. When you're done with that, number two, list one thing you have learned from the pandemic. And then three, list one thing you would do differently during the pandemic. So we'll take five minutes. And once we finish, because I am going to have to collect this to turn this in. we're going to do today, or at least what topic we will be discussing. You said that, yeah. trajectory of a lot of people's lives during the time. Mm-hmm. Good, I was also going to say chaotic, but I also like, enjoyed it because I was I just thought it was more romantic. Okay, sounds like Mario. I put tragic because it feels like a major turning point because you know, everybody has to be shut in the cell and like, millions of people dying. So yeah, it's really tragic. Yes, thank you, Mario. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to look at preparing a claim on this very topic about your experience during the pandemic. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch a quick video. We'll do see, think, wonder. Write down one thing that you saw or one thing that you wonder about or one thing that you're thinking about in the video. So we're going to play this. It's going to be a quick video. Just sort of when a When you write, right your tone influences how you respond. With Grammarly, just highlight your text and type 
have a lot of experience with claims. This is just a quick reminder. I know the music sucks, so let's
Recap, this is always gonna be your last paragraph. Recap the main claim and perspective presented, emphasize the importance of addressing alternative or opposing perspectives, and then reinforce the significance of appropriate organization development, substance and style, and conveying a compelling argument. Encourage critical thinking and open-mindedness and weigh different perspectives. So, we're gonna quickly do a practice. This is an example of a good claim. Implementing renewable energy sources is crucial for reducing carbon emissions and combating climate change. Now, why this is a good claim is because, one, it clearly states the importance of renewable energy sources in relation to climate change, and it presents a specific viewpoint and provides a basis for further discussion and supporting evidence. So whatever claim you guys come up with, you gotta make sure we're gonna use our phones to research supporting evidence for your claim. Here's an example of a bad claim. Who wants to read the example of a bad claim? a distinct perspective or provide a clear direction for further discussion or supporting evidence. Okay, thank you. So the eating healthy food is good for you. That's just a, an opinion. And again, according to the video that we watch, opinions don't make good claims. So here we're going to see what the difference is. Let's see if we can tell which one's a good claim and which one's a bad claim. Let's just take two minutes to read it silently to ourselves. And when we have an answer, put your hands up on which one is the good claim and which one's the bad claim. Okay, so now that we've had a couple minutes to decide which one was good or bad, can somebody tell me which one is the good claim and which one is the bad claim? Show of hands. All right, you know what? I'll do this. Show of hands if you think this first one is the good claim. Show of hands. Ricardo, Ryan. Okay. Now, show of hands if you think this is a bad claim. Okay, good job. So that's correct. So now this brings us to our independent work assignment that Kanaja gave out earlier. What we're gonna do here is, this is the actual assignment that Ms. Julia left behind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete this exercise and we're gonna start with by creating a claim. You can use your cell phones for research to support your claim. She wants at least three to four paragraphs. Use your phones again to research evidence to support claim for your topic. So let's go over what the topic is. I'll read it quickly. Suppose it is February 2020, 2120. So this is a futuristic date. Due to some major breakthroughs in medicine, you all are the first people on earth who have first experienced of living through the COVID-19 epidemic of 2020, a team of sociologists from the government have come to you and asked how they should inform the public about this new threat. What you have learned so far in sociology class, how would you respond? Assume this is a real threat. It is even more contagious than COVID-19. Doing nothing is not an option. You have to do something. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your claim. We have prompts if you need help to formulate your claim or to connect your sentences. Some of the things we're looking for is how did your community respond in 2020? How did your government respond in 2020? How did social media respond in 2020? You know, these could be things that you're considering as ways to help if there was another pandemic, uh, if another pandemic was to occur. How did the industry respond in 2020? You know, did things get expensive? Did things get cheap? So we gotta think, did new industries emerge? So if this happened in the future, again, another pandemic that was just as deadly, what advice would you give uh, these scientists? So, it's okay.
some of our do now responses in crafting a good um, claim. Because some of you have really good do now responses. We do paragraphs here, but we